Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is William Fallow, and welcome everyone to the Good Week devotional series, week four of April edition. And today's scripture is about the battle on Mount Zemarim, if I pronounced it correctly. But uh, and uh, the scripture comes from Second Chronicles. Verses 2 and 3, and uh, verses 13 through 18. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can get your Bibles out and read along. There was war between Abijah and Jeroboam. Abijah went into a battle with a force of 400,000 able fighting men. And Jeroboam drew up a battle line against him with 800,000 able troops. Verses, verse 13. Now Jeroboam had sent troops around to the rear so that while he was in front of Judah, the ambush was behind him. Judah turned and saw that they were being attacked at both front and rear. And then they cried out to the Lord. The priests blew their trumpets, and the men of Judah raised the battle cry. At the sound of their battle cry, God routed Jeroboam and all Israel before Abijah and Judah. The Israelites fled before Judah, and God delivered them into their hands. Abijah and his men inflicted heavy losses on them, so that there were 500,000 casualties among Israel's able men. The men of Israel were subdued on that occasion, and the men of Judah were victorious because they relied on the Lord, the God of their Fathers. Ladies and gentlemen, 400,000 versus 800,000. You can definitely say that it's a tall mountain to climb. The deck is stacked against Judah. 400,000 versus 800,000. The odds probably would not be in their favor. And then they were in battle. They were attacked on every side. 800,000 men going against Judah's 400,000 men. Judah was surrounded in the front and rear. They were being attacked. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? They called out to God. And ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls... We could be going through that situation in life. We are attacked by the troubles of life in front of us, back of us, side of us, everywhere we go. We feel, we can feel that the odds are against us. But you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We can cry out to God and He will come and fight for us, ladies and gentlemen. Do you need help in your battle? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you have somebody who fights for you. And that is God. And He can help you fight your battles and overcome the odds. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all have a great week.